What's going on, people? It's your main man, Dame Drop, the YouTube fast food titan. You know me for bringing you all of that quick service restaurant action. Well, now I'm taking it to the next level. Now I'm bringing you into the world of secret menu fast food items. I'm gonna bring in a guest chef because you know we're all about taste buds, we're all about linking up together, and we're all about bringing you the very best, not just fast food, secret menu fast food items. We're going on a ride and I'll bring you with me, whether you want to go or not. I know you're hungry. I brought my appetite. You brought yours? All right, guys, I know right now you're thinking to yourself, Dan, who do you have rocking with you today? Well, I got my main man, Justin Warner, right now. I'm talking about Food Network star, B? Uh, yeah, so I'm on Food Network an awful lot. You can catch me as a uh, judge on Guy's Grocery Games. You can catch me as a competitor. If it's food, I'm there. That's what I like to hear. Absolutely. Have you ever done anything off of a secret menu food item? You know, not exactly, but I tell you, I'm, I'm very passionate about your cause here because it's not the chefs that construct these things. Right. This is food that the people created for the people. Well, let me tell you something, bro. I brought something today that's definitely created by the people for the people. What you know about that chicken McGriddle? Now, this is just not your regular sandwich. All right, not only do we have that syrup all up in the bun game. Right. We have a little bit of that processed cheese. You see that thin layer right there? Oh, I do. You have a little bit of that egg work. And I'm not one to normally run up on the egg, but if you're gonna do what you gotta do it the right way with a little bit of everything, you have to get that McGriddle and you have to get that McChicken. Mm. And don't forget, you have a little bit of that bacon creeping through. I do see that. Are yeah. you ready for it? I am. I'm dying to. All right, man. Well, right. first of all, let's get our cheers going on. Hell yeah. All right. All right. I'm gonna let you break yours down when you hit that thing. All right, here we go. I didn't know that I'd be a, a huge fan of the maple. But I gotta say that the maple kind of is the thing that binds all of this. You know, it's the language that every protein in here is speaking. That's pretty all right. The pepper in the maple is nice too. Cause that's the, the defining flavor you're getting out of this chicken is black pepper. Mm -hmm. The egg kind of takes it to a, a very different level of the game. Right. You know, in Japan, they eat chicken and egg all the time together and, and they call it oyako. And it literally means like family. A lot. So we're having a family brunch right now? This is kind of like a family brunch. We oh, got this is crazy. The chicken and its spawn as the egg. All right, Jay, I'm about to get crazy right now. We're taking this one to the Suicide Burger at Burger King. Four patties, bro. <laughs> Four patties. I didn't even know that was possible. Everything Look. is possible on the secret menu. Why? Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh. That's like an, a meat accordion. Okay, but we didn't stop there. That's four slices of cheese. Oh. That's bacon on bacon on a sesame seed bun. That's, damn. You ready for this? Yeah, I think so. Come on, man, cheers it up, man. Boom. All right, listen, there's a lot going on right here. Yeah. You gotta be a professional to handle four patties at once when it comes to Burger King. I didn't know I had the jaw strength, to be honest. You know what, sometimes, you just gotta jump out on faith that you believe you can do it. <laughs> you have that old grilled up patty. Mm. A lot of cheese, a lot of bacon action. I'm never one to complain because I love a bacon cheeseburger to begin with. So it was just a thicker bite of bliss for your boy. But what do you think? So the thing I love about this, and you can kind of see the action in there. Mm -hmm. like, look at that good guy. Is this almost reminds me of like the gourmet burger because these patties and cheese all become one. And it becomes this thick like restaurant you know, non-quick service restaurant style patty. But then that cheese just like stays molten and oozes out of the center, right? Yeah. Oh my God, it looks illicit. Seriously, this is some like peach emoji type shit. All right, Jay. Now I brought in the first two monstrosities in that secret menu game. But this one here from Taco Bell, you're gonna have to break this one down for your boy. This is all you, man. This yeah. is all you. Yeah, it is. Um, so my wife is a, uh, a huge fan of the uh, of the Crunchwrap Supreme. Okay. Believe it or not, there are a lot of additions. This looks innocent, but it's a, it's a WMD, Weapon of Mass Deliciousness. Ooh. I've taken the liberty of adding some bacon because, duh, 
and ranch because I think only behind bacon does it stand as people's choice. It is truly the condiment of the masses, you know? Indeed, indeed. Everybody loves ranch. Definitely have hash brown action going on in here. Boom, bacon, right. cheese, ranch. Cheese life. Cheese yeah, life. We have, do we have, we have some egg up in here? I think so, because this is a oh, breakfast. Oh, this is, this this is, is a breakfast, breakfast yeah, breakfast. okay. So bacon, egg, hash brown, you added the ranch in. Yeah. Because you want to get a little crazy, right? Absolutely, but you know, ranch brings an herbal note. Mm -hmm. You know, because the ranch is made out of buttermilk and herbs. And so I feel like fast food, you never get herb. Oh, Shall we try that? Let's do what we do, Cheers. man. You definitely got Zang. It's got Zang. Mm. This doesn't even have a name. We should name it. Well, it's your creation, bro. You might want to give it a name. What about bacon crunch wrap? Crunch. Crunch. Ooh, okay. Crunch. It's, the, it's when you got crunchy and ranch. Mm -hmm. I think the combination of the bacon, the ranch, and then kind of whatever zestiness they got going on in their cheese there, it's a natural mix with the, the potato in there. I, I got really not a whole lot of criticism for it, man. Um, I think that the ranch is just, it's, it's perfect. It's, it, it's probably what this sandwich needs all the time. Mm. Now let's talk about how we're gonna break these things down. I'm thinking best in class. Fair. Best in class, let's start there. What would your selection be? I mean, for me, best in class screams the suicide burger. Mm. It's not trying to be a mashup. It's not trying to be a Franken food. It's trying to be the best of what it is. And that is all the burger that that bun can probably hold. I know, I know. You just gave me chills with that break, Jack. Look, I definitely gotta agree with you. Best in class goes to the suicide burger. Fair. But who gets most creative? And it's not because I created it. Oh! But it's gotta be the crunch wrap. I don't know, there's just something about it. You don't expect all those ingredients to necessarily sing harmoniously. I like that, I, de I definitely like that. I'm, I'm definitely going to, to slide with the chicken McGriddle. That was my number two. I'm going with the chicken McGriddle, Jay. I hear you. So that sweetness, that pepper love that was mm. on the batter that matters with the chicken. Oh, that was so good. That chicken McGriddle is where it's at for that creativity, man, I was getting excited. I'm right there. I didn't want to like it. I was like ready to fight it. Wow. wow. But then, mm. as my mouth like pressed down on it, it was like releasing maple spores, you know? Then I slide the, my teeth into the chicken, yeah, and the yeah. chicken has that, that peppery note. Bang, it's right there. It was, it was so good. Secret menu on this, baby. Check for it. So listen, man. What's up? I appreciate you bringing me into this Taste Buds world. So I've prepared a few little fun Hacks, if you will. Okay. I'm gonna make you a breakfast sandwich. This is what you normally present it. This is how it comes, right? Right. And everybody knows about putting potato chips or about putting fries in their sandwich. But, but people don't do the breakfast version. Why not? So you put them together. Now okay. look, this is a, the classic McMuffin. I'm gonna take that apart. I'm gonna slide this good guy right in there. Uh -huh. And because the hash brown has some crunch to it, now we got some texture in there as well. But what is the sandwich without sauce? You hold this for one second? I got this, man. All right. How do you feel about the marriage of these two ingredients? Hot sauce and strawberry jam. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I can kind of think of, of like, I guess like a, of a pepper jam, so I guess it might actually work. Boom, that's it. I think people forget that the peppers and strawberries are both fruits. So, come on, just put a little smear right on there. It'll be like, mm. strawberry jelly and potatoes, what are you doing? But this is gonna provide like a nice sweet heat. This hot, hot sauce specifically, number one ingredient, vinegar. And so with that, that sourness, you can temper it with the sweetness of the jam. Boom. All right. That's my ideal breakfast sandwich. This is like a hangover nuker. All right, so let's see what it do. Ooh. Putting in that hash brown though, mm. giving it that little potato flex and the spiciness of the hot sauce mm. with the sweetness of the jam. I think it's a nice little combination killer. Really? Nice little combination killer, right? It's something different. That, that makes something my outside day. the box. That, that's why I'm here. This is definitely why you're here. Definitely the main reason we got Justin with us for this secret menu flex right now where I'm taking you to the next level. And it's your main man, Dame Drops, and you're rocking out with another wild episode of Taste Buds. 
You know what it is, baby. And you know how it goes down.